fight on the left, more often than not, I'll try to get so you guys can see, Nordin's coming out, getting his left hand on, leading with his left foot. That's the most important thing we're going to do today, okay? But I really want you to think about that left and right. And I'm right, so I'm trying to get grips here. Fair? So we're going to start, before we do anything in the technique, we're going to try a bit of this, okay? I want it quite extreme, so I don't want you standing like this. I want it quite extreme, so he's quite extreme left, I'm quite extreme right here. Fine. More often than not, he's posting out a little bit, if he knows what posting out is, yeah, a little bit. And I'm trying to get my grip on here. Try to find a grip. So could we try that for a second? Yeah, get your partner. Give it a go. Let's try it out. Do you guys what's happening? See when I'm trying to get this way, he's got first grips. What's happening? What's he doing? How annoying is it? when you're a partner trying to get your grips and they're doing this. Yeah. Is it all right? You're happy? Yeah. Not really great, is it? Okay, so we're going to look at the changing the grip a little bit, so I'm going to take control of it now. So when I'm doing this, this hand is going to catch, so I'm going to go cross grip. Look, my little guys, if they go cross grip, on his elbow, pushing it down, and bringing it in. Do you see that? So there, there, and bring it in. What I'm not going to do is this, there, and come into him. Okay? It's my grips. I'll take the charge there, bring it in. That's all I'm going to do this thing. I'm still going to do this with my hand, so he's got his left grip. I'm doing this, there, catch, bring in. That's all I want just now. We're bringing it down. Can we do it? Let's go. That's right. So remember, guys, speaking to events there. You can pull it from underneath. Okay, it's not my preference just because they can still pull that elbow back out again if I'm not tight enough. So I really want it to talk there and pull it. And when I pull, this time when I pull, I'm going to pull it right in front of my chest there. Hand, I don't really mind where it goes, on the back there. But I don't want it here, I don't want it there, there, I want it there. So look at the pressure on Nordy now. Do you see that? You okay? Not keep you up, but are you one of those noisy ones last night? Okay. So, quick. All right, let's do this. Guys, there, pull them to me, hand round, then there. Because this is the, this is going to be the start of the throw. We need to get this right before the throw is going to work properly. Is that fair? I'm one sided, yeah? How long on a one sided grip? Anybody? Anybody? saying is you're really not allowed any time other than it's got to be progressive and uh, get into an attack. So there's no, I can't just stand there with it, I've got to go into an attack and you'll see we'll do the attack straight off it as soon as we get like that. Okay. So let's try that, pull the man across the chest, let's go from there. Yeah? We did this. Lean and then run. We did that one. Yeah. We do a little bit of that now. Huh? We're do it with that grip. So, God, you're still taking grip. I've caught, pulled him in, just where we've got to, hand over the back, I'm going to lean, like we did earlier, and just run. What's happened, Nordy? Hmm? Yeah, that's all, I'm not going to throw, I'm not doing anything else, I'm just doing that, look, pull across, there, lean in, and start to run. When we're doing this, I want you to take care not to bash any people, is that fair? Okay? So just a couple of steps is fine. Let's try it. I think some are bending over too much. I think it's too much of this going on. We're pulling them in here, here, and then I'm bending over. Okay? Remember, I don't need to bend over. To keep pressure on Nordin, all I need to do is that. There. I'm still up, right? There's pressure on Nordin now. There? So I'm going to run now. Remember that lean? But when I run now, I'm going to take one or two steps and then start to turn round. Nordin there. So you start to spin. Is that fair? Be careful. Do you want to see it again or can we try it? Do you want to see it again? Thanks, man. So there and there, remember I'm not bending over too much, I'm strong there. I'm leaning. Then we start to run there. Let's try it. At the start, 
what was the, the main objective? Who am I fighting? Because I'm a right handed judo player, so who am I fighting? What's Nordy? Yeah. Tell me. Left handed. He's a left handed judo player. Yeah. So if the left handed judo players just stand square on like that, more often than not, no, they're leaving with the left. Okay? Some of us are forgetting that. So when we've been doing that exercise there, we're starting to take left grips but leaving with one. Or left foot like that, changing it, we're changing kind of sides of it. So try and make it left on right. Yeah? And help your partner out a little bit just for this, because we'll, we will change it, but there's two things that's going to happen, or could happen. Once I do that to Nordy, when I pull him, he might step in front of me. There. Okay? That's alright. Okay? He might not move at all, I might do this pull him. He just stays where he is, yes, that's fine. Okay? So, we're going to look at, we're going to look at two examples, but the first one's going to be when he doesn't move. Yeah? I'm going to take my glasses off because I'll smash a few more. Put them up here. I've got my glasses holding. So there, pulling in. Okay. The lean. Okay. Now, my partner's not moved his leg. Okay. And that's the leg we're going to attack. This one. I'm not going to attack it, I'm just going to trail my foot. So my run, my lean and my run's going to be, everything's going to go, but this foot's going to stay. Do you see that? Everybody got that? So imagine I've done everything else, I've pulled there, I've done the lean, I'm starting to drive, I've done that step as if I'm running, and that foot's just catching there. So when I roll over there, so again there, pulling them in. As if I'm doing the run, they are trailing. I'm catching them there. I'm letting the grips go just now, we won't do that eventually, but is everybody happy with that? I think what I'd like to do just now before we do this, I want you to get a quick drink. Come back, we'll wait till you're doing the <laughs> You're just falling outside of them. So you're doing this, this, pulling here, stepping one little step, putting there, and then dropping down. I need to go through my partner. I need to, I run through my partner. Remember that early exercise we did, did this, and then did that, the lead and run. And then we did, we changed it. We did that. We were running in all the way through. So that's what we want to be doing now. So from there, I want to be leaning, driving forward there, then catching. That makes sense? And that creates that movement. Let's try Remember what I've got to do. I've got to break the balance. That's the first thing you do, know, if I ain't breaking the balance, I ain't going to throw them out. So if I just do this, here, here, put my foot, and then just literally fall down here, he's still strong, he's on balance. So break it back to what we did at the very start, we did the lean, then we did the run. Okay, then we started building up the grip, pulling him on, tight, chest going, now the lean's there, look. His balance is starting to go in that direction, and then I'm putting a little twist in it, so it's there, I'm leaning, as I start to turn, there, his balance is going that way. So it's there, there, and I think I spoke earlier on about it, I like to call it, a, a, you'll hear me say to the kids to run through, and they, they run past their partner. So it's running past your partner, there, and then catching. Does that make sense? Hey right, guys, let's go and do hey it. Hey guys. Yeah, you can turn a little bit. Come on over a little bit more. Big Star was just talking there, and come on over. Maybe in a little bit. Are you tired? Get here. So, I take a look at the little guys, I think a lot of this is happening. We're pulling through here, we're actually coming to the side of our back, like standing up here. So they're in front of me, you see that? Instead of, remember that it's like a L shaped black 90 degree angle, so there, we're still pulling them. Okay, I'm still at the side from here, right there, just here. I'm still controlling here. My lean, or leaning with the shoulders forward there, not bending, but leaning forward there, that's what's controlling them. And if I don't do that, if I'm too upright here, okay, no control. There, leaning, ready for the run. There, okay. So I'm going to change it a little bit now. My partner's going to step back because they're going to do different things with that foot. They're not always just going to stand there. Sometimes they'll step back. So, 
sometimes I'm going to do follow the whole process there, there. He steps back, see, and I'm never going to catch that foot. I'm going to follow the process exactly the same. I'm going to take the inside leg. So we drive through there and drive the inside leg. Okay? I've got control anyway. It's there, it's there. If you watch the little guys, look there. You step, your partner's got to step back. You've got to help there if you do. Okay? Step back. I'm going forward now. Running through. Running through, catch there. And over. Okay, we'll try. Big guys on first, but could happen. Maybe we stop you and pull. Okay, remember the process here. Pulling in, tight. My partner's going to step across now. He stopped it now, look. He stopped me trying to run. Run forward. Okay. Remember what I've got, the pressure here. Hands on there. I don't think you can go in the belt if you want. Here, I don't mind. Okay. So, there. Pull that tight there, he's stepping across. I'm literally just going to push his knee away here and bring him back. I'm not going to do anything fancy, I'm not going to drop into Tanya Toshi. Because if I drop too big there, for me, if I drop too big here, if he turns, that's him. I want to keep my upper body control. So it's there, pulling in there, he steps over. I'm literally just putting my knee in there and then taking him down under the ground. We can do that, can't we? We can all go on and do this. Is that fair? Yeah. Let's go. So, everything else is the same. Remember at the very start, I was looking for the grip. Okay, catching, bringing them over, tight here, hand on the back, pressure. Okay, so if he literally stays in that position, I'm going to run, catch, trailing foot. If he steps back, I'm still going to do the run. Catch the inside foot, yeah? If again, this position steps right across there, we can catch just what we've done, okay? But now, there, he's literally going to, it's as if he's coming around that way, he wants to come around that way now. He's trying to throw me off, I bet he comes around, I'm still keeping control, I'm going to catch the coach you can there. Remember, see these mistakes he's making? I'm forcing them. I've got to force him to make mistakes. He doesn't just make them, I've got to force him to make mistakes. So there, they are, catching, okay? I put a bit of pressure, put a pressure, he starts to want to come around the front of me there. I still pressure him. And then the coach, you got it there. Is that fair? I normally you could down with him. I know it's question, okay? So, my little crew, him being Nuki, what's his job this time? Look, I've just pulled him in. Somebody better put the hand up soon. I brought him in front. What's his job? What's his job? He wants to come and try and face me there. Look, I'm keeping tight. That's his, job. That's his only job is to try and bring that foot around and come around and face me there. Okay? Fair? I think we could all do it together. So just spread out. Let's have a go. Yeah. 